My name's Jeff Kersey, and in this lesson we're going to look at painting some summer trees in watercolour. We're going to start just by doing a bit of pencil drawing to establish a basic shape. Good idea not to draw a lot of detail. We decide how much to leave out and how much to put in when we start with the brushes. And I'm just getting a sort of basic shape. Notice the line I'm using for this is a broken line. I keep breaking the line up. That'll remind me when I'm doing the painting that the edge of this tree is foliage, so it's a broken line. I bring the trunk down and just establish a bit of ground underneath the tree to give us some scale. And then we're ready to mix some colour to start painting. We've got a large all-rounder brush and a liner writer brush, which is ideal for painting the fine branch work in the trees. But with the larger brush, we'll start by mixing a couple of colours. I'm going to take some Oriolin, and these colours need to be fairly stiff mixtures, not too watery, because for this tree we're going to do a little bit of dry brush work, and that doesn't work if the paint is too watery a mixture. Now I'm going to make this Oriolin into a bright green by adding just a touch with the tip of the brush of ultramarine. It's a fine line between just getting the right colour and putting too much in. So I only need, notice how just a touch of ultramarine blue makes that Oriolin into a nice bright green. Okay, before I mix the second colour, I need to really wash the brush out thoroughly. And then we start again with the same mixture Oriolin with not too much water, again a fairly stiff mixture. Now just like the last colour, I'm going to add some ultramarine to make it into a green, but more this time, so we get a richer, darker green. Straight away you can see there how by adding more ultramarine blue, the colour changes and gives us a rich, dark green. So I'm going to charge the brush up with plenty of this bright green mixture. And then holding the brush with my thumb on one side of the handle and four fingers on the other so that I can lay the flat of the brush on the paper, I'm going to start putting in the shape of the tree. Important that you have a light touch for something like this because don't, we don't want to make the tree too solid. We want to certainly make it look like there are gaps between the foliage. Bit more paint. And I cover the whole of the tree at first with this lighter colour. Taking particular care to just get a very light touch at the edge so to indicate the broken shapes of the foliage. Straight away now I'm going to dip the brush in the darker green. And we'll have the light coming from the left hand side so I'll go in with the darker green on the right hand side. Quite a lot of paint on my brush there. I'm going to dry a bit of the paint off on some tissue so that I get more of a dry brushwork effect. Just softening it in towards the middle and making the dark paint cover the right hand side. And I'm going to get some more of the light green paint. Take some of it off on the tissue so that the brush, brush is fairly dry and then just use that to soften in the dark green to the light green. Then I'm going to take some more ultramarine and get that dark green even darker. Use that just fairly dry again just to emphasize the real dark side of the tree. Just catching the surface so we get that texture from the paper. Well now that the foliage is dry on the tree we'll just have a look at how we could put a trunk in and just indicate a few branches that are visible in the gaps between the foliage. I'm going to take some Oriolin and Rose Madder and just a little touch of ultramarine into it to make a sort of medium brown sh shade. And now I want another colour, a much darker brown, so it's Oriolin and rose madder again to create that orange. 
This is a bit thicker this time. And then the ultramarine to turn the orange into a dark brown. More ultramarine this time to make the brown darker. Okay, so with a clean brush, I'm going to pick up some of that lighter brown. I've got to remind myself that the light is coming from the left hand side, so I'm putting that lighter brown over all of the trunk, maybe a touch in some of the gaps there. And then straight away, dry a bit of that off and pick up the darker brown using the very tip of the brush to make the right hand side of the trunk darker. A few indications of that dark colour just visible there through the gaps in the foliage. I'm just going to convert now to the liner writer brush, take a bit more ultramarine to make that brown darker. And let's give the feeling, the indication of a few fine branches coming off the trunk and working their way up the tree, getting much thinner towards the edge. At the edge of the tree where you see the gaps, more gaps in the foliage, the, the lines are very fine. We're just using the very tip of this liner writer. Let's take another brush full. Let's have a look at the uh, left hand side. Again I can press on a bit more early on but as those branches get higher up into the tree they get finer and finer. Try to paint your branches always away from the ground, upwards into the tree. We don't want to do too many branches, it's really a sort of a glimpse now and, get, now and again. And then I'm just going to clean the liner writer brush, get a little bit of that light green paint on and just in one or two areas soften the foliage where you're getting the glimpses of the trunk so that it looks like it just disappears amongst the foliage. And straight away now before that trunk dries I'm picking up the larger brush again a bit more of this light green. I'll have to mix a touch more of it. It's Oriolin with just a touch of ultramarine in it and let's suggest a bit of grass under the tree And I'm going to get a bit of the dark green on the brush straight away. And remember the light's coming from the left hand side, so going from the bottom of the trunk out towards the right hand side, we'll use that darker colour to indicate a, a bit of shadow. And then just a touch of the dark brown again on the very point of the brush to soften that in to the trunk.